afternoon, everyone. I'm here to share two tidbits of information that I learned working Grubhub this past week that I experienced for the very first time. I tend, I, I do live streams and I share this information in live streams, but live streams can go on for an hour sometimes, and not everybody has that kind of time to sit down to watch a live stream to become more knowledgeable in the food delivery app gig industry. So I thought I'd put together this video to inform you of the two things that I learned this, year, this past week and that I experienced. I've heard about Grubhub timing people out. Never really understood it, but I never worried because I always gave a reason, oh, reject offer, too far or too low are usually the two that I choose. Well, someone made a suggestion. I can't remember who it was on one of my videos. They left a comment. Why don't you miss it? Why don't you just let it miss sometimes? So I started doing that just this past week. And I would let one miss and then they send me another offer and I'd be like, oh, that's very fair. Decent amount of distance and it's a fair wage. Last night, yesterday was the slowest Sunday I've had in my market in a very long time. But I also was only out there for a total of five hours, a couple hours in the afternoon and a few hours last night. I didn't, I didn't drive a regular Sunday. So I was being a, a real cherry picker. I wasn't in the mood. I said, if I'm going to work, I want to get high payouts. And they weren't sending them. So they sent me two. And then a notification came up. I let them just miss. I didn't give a reason why I didn't want the offers. I didn't say too low or too far. They said, if you miss one more, we will put your account on timeout. Well, who knows how long that will last? Not just the night, that might last days. Who knows? I don't know. Every market's different and every individual's different. They know exactly who they're working with. Just remember that, folks. They know your every move and they know how you work and your, your daily routine. They know. They review analytics. They know what they're doing. So when I saw that notification, you're going to put my account on timeout. They sent me another one, so I rejected it because it was way too low. And then they sent me one that was fair, no traffic. It was a little far, but it was at least it was over $7. So I thought you should be aware of that if you're either new to Grubhub or I've been doing Grubhub for a year and a half. I never, I never experienced Grubhub ever sending me a notification popping up to tell me we're going to put you on time out you got to you got to communicate with us I didn't know that another thing I learned just this week it was on Saturday I accepted two orders in a row I said they know what they're doing they were both one was over nine one was over eight and I you know accepted both they came in right after the other I said okay they know what I'm doing so I follow their guideline they sent me to the restaurant to pick up and I drove to the drop-off, which was kind of out of the way. But when I, when I was going to the next pickup that I accepted <laughs> over a half an hour ago, I hit a lot of traffic, so it took me a long time to get there, and it was the only time of day that I hit traffic. Grubhub knows that you're stuck in traffic. So I get to the restaurant, and when I walked in, they said, oh, the customer already picked up the food. I didn't know that. So I, well, I said, okay, thank you very much, and they know who I am, and i see you next time, bye, and I got into my car, and I went to go drive away, and I got Grubhub on the phone, and they put me on hold, I told them what happened, they put me on hold, they want to see if I was messing around, or did it really take me that long to get there, and it did, and I wasn't aware that the customer got impatient, I wasn't aware that the customer went and picked up their own food, that was my fault, Grubhub paid me. They paid me because they, they, could, they know your every move. They review your activity. And then they get back on the phone and tell you how they are going to proceed. You don't tell them, they tell you. So I was like, oh, thank you so much. They did me a solid. I didn't have to go to the drop-off. I did spend the time to go to the pickup, but it's not my fault that I hit traffic. That wasn't my fault. So they paid me. And that was really nice. It was over $9. So I wanted to share that. Two Grubhub experiences that I never experienced up until this past week. And I've been doing Grubhub for a year and a half. 
You live and you learn. You do and you learn. Experience. Okay, folks, you have a good one. And if you got to go out there, I hope you make a lot of money. See you in the next video. Bye.